you see from Canning today that is just able to give you guys such fits? Oh, he's, he's got great command of four pitches, and um, he had a really good pitching plan. And uh, I didn't think he came in as much as he sometimes does, which uh, makes it even more difficult. We didn't make adjustments to use the other side of the field very much with our left-handers. So he's awfully tough. He didn't give much away. The fact that he walked two guys is a little bit of an upset that, with his command. And, and Petey wasn't quite as sharp as uh, he typically is. That one inning got away from him, obviously. And in a game like this, you don't want to give away uh, as much as we gave away. What do you tell Petey after a game like this? Oh, I'm not going to say anything to him. It, possibly his last college start. And, 114 pitches and the warrior that he is he kind of kept tried to keep us in it and got to the seventh and he's had a spectacular year and it was our turn to pick him up offensively and we didn't do that so I'm not going to break him down and uh, you know probably why we're uh, the only reason we're in the hunt is a lot to do with him and the success he's had all year long. So if you watch from this year and then the two times that it's kind of had a bad inning that's really kind of piled and he couldn't get out of it the, the too few times that he yeah you know for him to walk a guy in that's very mm -hmm. unusual uh young pd did stuff like that and, and then their uh their dh gets a you know hits a ball through a seam we had a chance to throw a guy out maybe and keep it to a, a three run but we didn't uh, it, it's unfortunate that with his stuff that you know he couldn't he was one pitch away from getting a zero in that inning mm -hmm. too a couple of times and didn't get it done Good, you know, good execution by them. The, the inning started with a push bunt, a well-executed push bunt by their catcher. You know? We talk about being doing things like that too against a guy like Canning, and we we attempted a couple bunts, but we weren't successful. Their their catcher did a nice job of starting that inning off, and, and then when there's a guy in scoring position, you know, you pitch a little bit differently than right down the heart of the plate too, which allows for the two strike, oh two uh, hit batter, and then two walks, and so. And this one, the first one to three, is going to feel pretty good about themselves yeah, at this yeah. point. Yeah, well, yeah, any, any kind of scoring against, you know, when you're going against a guy like Canning, you go, oh, man, we're going to be able to overcome that. We didn't have many shots at him, but we didn't expect a whole bunch of shots at him. As a head coach coming to this game, what's it like knowing what Peter, what's at stake for Peters and knowing that it could be his last start? Well, I, I'll reflect on everything that he's brought uh, culturally to the to the program and numbers-wise this year, and he's been a tremendous uh, man uh, from the first day he set foot on campus and in our program. And uh, you know, you you always feel blessed as a coach to be around quality human beings like him, and and then when they perform spectacularly like that, uh, to go along with the kind of young man he is, it's you know, it's a great three years of my life and I hope everything goes well for him in the draft and he gets what he wants because he deserves everything that he gets. What does, he, what does his legacy leave behind here at Oregon? Oh, we'll have to see. You know, the, the, We've got a, a, young, a bunch of young arms and he's been the leader of that group and Alex Cudell was here tonight and he was the leader when he was Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year and uh, he left a legacy of guys that worked awfully hard. Tyler Anderson did the same thing and and I would suspect that uh, David Peterson has established a work ethic in that pit young pitching staff that hopefully will do some, do some more damage next year. How would you describe his season as a whole after what appeared to be a little bit of struggling last season? You know, I don't. You know, he, he's lost uh, he's lost three league games when we haven't done very much uh, to to support him, and he's not bulletproof. And, you know, I I don't know what else I can say about it. He's, he, you know, he, the emotional part of being a leader, the uh, the practice part of being a leader, and then he go out and execute it. And you hope that your Friday guy, your your first guy of the weekend, Thursday or Friday guy, fills up that role in a really big way. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on that guy, and I think he you think he stood very tall and filled that Friday night role up very well for the 2017 Ducks.